Welcome to ICS Performance and Dino Flash. You have a beautiful car. Thank you. Why don't you tell us something about the wonderful turbo kit that's on this car? It's an ETS 57 trim kit, um, tubular style headers, 3 inch downpipe, 3 inch turbo back full exhaust, Brian Crower cams, 272s, nice. Walbro 255, uh, SMC methanol injection kit, later upgrading to an Aquamist. Nice. And, uh, for 475. Hey, um, how's that uh, that terminal, eh? Yeah. Well, let's see what kind of power it makes. All right. A little uh, unconventional, man. Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, Battery tray was supposed to come in. That's our get, ghetto spec. Yeah. Ghetto spec. <laughs> I don't mind that. Well, this is an exciting project. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to go over and take a look and see how uh, master... Our S6. Apparently, we're going to be putting uh, some headers and an exhaust system on this car. Uh, this is the. Oh boy, this car has the QTP cutout. That's pretty nice. Nice car. There's the Dino Flash Evo. Very pleased. There it is. Back in action. Gonna have to take a video of that later on, you know? I love my STI, man. There's the uh, old school Buick Turbo M3. That's my Dino Flash STI. Look at this M5, man. This thing's got headers, exhaust, suspension, everything on it. There's the Evo 10 with the front mount. Here's a 08 WRX that we modified, an M Coupe, another M3, we got the 08 WRX that we modified with a bigger turbo, we got the uh, Sumans, famous GT37 Evo, we have the uh, STI modified with ATP turbo kit, we have uh, Harry Crusoe's Evo, gotta put some new spark plugs in there. So, all around. We have the Johnny Broadway STI up in the front. All in all, it's a pretty busy day here. This is my new video attack weapon. The MacBook Pro. Hopefully I'm going to learn to edit some videos. Let's see what happens. Uh, here we have the ETS uh, 57 trim turbo. I ain't really feeling it. I guess he's got the ETS intercore pipes. Hey, is that is that the ETS intercore too? No, it's actually the AMS clone. It's AMS clone. Well, I don't think it's really cloning it too well. I don't know. The car's not making too good of a power. The torque is terrible. Uh, at 26 pounds of boost, I'm pumped with uh, methanol. The torque is really low, 330, and it, it touches 416. We're going to try to turn the boost up to about 27 pounds. So far, I'm not very impressed. I would prefer like the Busher GT3065 kit or the FP Green. That's yes, well, even the 3065. Would 3065 would be uh, superior. Yeah. Well, I guess sometimes you do get what you pay for, sometimes. Sometimes. Here you go. Why don't you do the honors? I'm feeling very happy because my Busher motor showed up today and my Subaru SDI is running. So that's a good day for you. Yeah. We're trying to give it every advantage we can, even spraying down the intake map with a little water. It is kind of warm here today. Here you go, man. Do the honors, Master uh, Ryan. Do the videotaping here. Yeah. Let's see what this piece will do. Well, let's try turning up the boost some more, shall we? 
A little bit more. That was a full turn and a half. Let's see what happens. Okay. Sir, four fifty and three eighty one. How much power were you expecting? I was hoping at least 475. Based upon, upon what? About 26 pounds of boost, 27 pounds. Based upon what? ETS rating uh, about 535 horsepower. It's turbo cut. And how much boost? At 30 pounds. At 30 pounds. At 30 pounds, pounds made 450. Uh, here we have a comparison of uh, Suman Busher GT3065 versus the ETS. 57 uh, millimeter, you see that, or T T57, you see here, it spools up a lot quicker, at about 4,000 RPM, it's hitting hard, the Suman one doesn't kick in until 5 grand, but after 5,000, he's all over you at the same boost point, he's making 520 versus your 450, so, uh, you know, it's a little less laggy, but it doesn't have the kick upstairs, you know, uh, everything's different here, it's very warm here today, the conditions on the dyno are, uh, Uh, 70 degrees today. Uh, if we do it corrected versus Suman's numbers, it's going to change. SAE corrected. If we change. He's, he's under 500 because, uh, but still 430 to 47, still 60 horsepower difference if you correct it for the weather. But 70 degrees today, you're not making the most power. When they tested theirs, it may be more. Also, they're, when they're rating this turbo, they're probably rating it like tuned balls to the edge. You have a tiny little SMC alcohol kit spraying a little dribble of alcohol, and you got uh, pump gas. So, obviously, with a stock ECU, you don't want to set any world power records and blow up your car. You have stock pistons, right? Yep. Stock rods. So, yep. yeah. My overall take is not one of my favorite turbos. I would greatly prefer the. Uh, Green, I think it will get you a lot faster spool up and more torque, or the 3065 if you don't want the low end, they give you more high end. I'm going to have for to look at the pusher. For the same price point, you know. Not bad, but not my favorite. The undisputed expert of GT3065 turbo kits, Master Suman. No, this is a 57 trim. Oh, I'm just saying it's kind of comparable to a 3065, yeah, yeah. but how do you like this? It's got this, this thing where you cannot install the stud in there and you have to just remove the stud there. And now as really? a consequence, the exhaust gases are kind of leaking out behind there. <laughs> Did you see the dyno sheet comparing this to yours at the same boost level? <laughs> That's funny, right? Are you serious? Um, uh, did you see the dyno sheet no, comparing this to yours? Not. Oh my god. This poor guy's struggling to make 450 at the same boost level where you're making 520. Wow. Okay, What's up? Happy is a relative word. Well, he's probably happy that his car is running. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't think he's too happy with that battery setup. That's <laughs> not the, you know, it's not my definition of happiness. What's but kid, what's kid is that? You have any busher parts on this car? I have the upper intercooler pipe. That's a good part. Yeah. That's working good. Yeah. He's got the AMS cop off copy from Taiwan. Probably uh, intercore that seems to be working fairly well. Nice. But uh, this is not so great. Yes.